PT PP Persero Tbk is one of the largest state-owned construction companies in Indonesia with several main business. PT PP Persero Tbk has successfully become one of the main players in national construction business through the accomplishment of various big projects. In line with the vision of the company as empowering the future, PT PP Persero Tbk is a trendsetter among construction companies in Indonesia. In 2017, the company was the only construction company to be acknowledged as a pioneer in practicing BIM and commit to implement BIM in all its projects throughout Indonesia. This effort is supported with the success of executing Digital Construction Day twice in 2017 and 2019 as the biggest international digital conference in Indonesia. Starting with the passion to develop infrastructure in Indonesia homeland to trigger the wheels of the economy in Indonesia. The development of Marado Bitung Toll Road is the right moment to stimulate the growth of economic distribution of import and export investment in Eastern Indonesia. The great aspiration to build the Marado Bitung Toll Road can be seen from how the parties involved work together, move together, work centrally, and full of strength to develop advanced Indonesia. In line with the company's vision, empowering the future of PT PP Persero Tbk became a trendsetter among construction companies in Indonesia. PT PP Persero Tbk has succeeded in becoming one of the main players in national construction business through the assessment of various large projects. Indonesia is a country that holds a lot of beautiful charm in its island. North Sulawesi, which is one of the international tourism destinations, the natural beauty is the reason why governments want to develop infrastructure and accessibility in this place. The Mandaro Bitung Road project that connects the city of Manado and the city of Bitung is designed and built project that has 39 kilometers line. One year has passed. This trip is not smooth as we predicted. Our obstacle must pass. High complexity of bridge structure with height of more than 50 meters. It works that Maximus existing ROW and review the design of road alignment to cut excavation into fill, material or non borrow drainage system and surrounding utilities. It's a challenge for us. In addition, this project also has major challenge during the construction. But we believe that when we use BIM and renewable technology, our problem have a solution. PT PP Persero Tbk, as the main contractor of Manado Betung Toll Road, of course, continues to strive to create a toll road that is both technically and investment efficient, with the four BIM concept that we have implemented that will oversee the success of this project. First, efficient design to cut difficult jobs that are easier to do. Second, making methods, scheduling, and visual simulation for ease of work so the speed of execution, time, and safety will be maintained to find ease for the main contractor in explaining the work in detail to site worker, ranging from the technical installation of iron to an explanation of work methods. Make it easy for the main contractor to explain the work in detail to site worker, ranging from the technical installation of iron to explanation of work methods. Third, solution for land availability. Various effort we made when we discovered the potential for class detection and related to land strategies, we always provide several options to solve them. For example, realignment of road design and making retaining wall, making our coordination easier by using BIM. 4. Assist with material logistics. Planning from outside the island with Autodesk 360, we can collaborate with other disciplines so that it can be monitored according to a specified schedule. Our material, mostly found in Java Islands such as cement, sand, Curtis Stone and Rainsford Steel 
as well as heavy equipment we bring it directly from Tanjung Priuk port and Tanjung Perak port headed to Makassar then arrive at the port international meeting. This is very influential if the logistic planning is not carried out carefully. There will be delayed material on the side. Toll road, which length reaches 39 km, has passed the Klabat mountain slope with varying slope so large volume of excavation and heat make us need to be aware of the danger of the landslide. Limited ROW making it necessary for us to model and simulate with BIM. Some work access we need to make to support the speed of working on the critical part of simulation and scaling on high risk construction. Method is certainly very important to be safe working reference. This project uses Autodesk Netiswork in scheduling to simulation and control implementation on a daily basis. Many benefits obtained in this simulation including the following. First, monitoring the realization of the schedule against the planned schedule becomes easier to control. Second, project acceleration target at several works location become easier to control. Third, decisions are made faster if there are delays in some work item. Fourth, simulation on Autodesk Navis work not only detect if there is a delay in work but can also be evaluated on the staging and sequence of work. Fifth, presentation of data in Autodesk Navis work is very easy to understand and do, especially in the presentation of field progress together with the owner consultant planners and the other stakeholders in the meeting forum. In one of the high bridges that we work on, we found a potential bridge design review. Because of the photogrammetry, it appears that there is water spring located 40 meters bridge construction. The water spring is a beaten city water source that is used by regional municipal waterworks and is safe by the local indigenous people not to be disturbed and damaged. But our initial design has detected that its toll road passed through the sacred water spring. Therefore, with our BIM together, the owner, design consultant, PUPR, and other related parties, and the effort to provide class detection technical data needed in modeling and simulation in order to find the right design, construction engineering, technical recommendation, and appropriate work methods not to damage the spring to this BIM. We are very helped in collaboration with various related stakeholders. Even though we are far away from each other, BIM 360 giving us a connection in one place so we can focus on what solution will be taken, so that the decision process will be faster. It has proven in 2018 when Maradu Bitung Toll Road Project was awarded as the best BIM implementation in PP Awards. Conceptually, BIM is very helpful in all construction process in the field. This is proven in the benefit cost ratio analysis in this project. We use the benefit cost ratio analysis to see and measurement quantitatively how big the benefits are in implementing this project. Benefit cost ratio is analyzed in the calculation of tangible benefit of 3.76 or 3.3 billion rupiah. This tangible benefit is analyzed using an approach in terms of accelerating the process of calculating the failing of structure, accelerating the time of implementation due to the early RFI model, accelerating a profile in applying BIM to the method of implementation, and reducing the potential risk of for exceeding. BIM has now become an accurate source of data modeling to solve problems in the field of several potential class detection discoveries. Appropriate and efficient method to be our reference for cross checking on schedule according to the word schedule and always prioritizing technological assistance with BIM in the project. BIM has now developed into a security center, cost control, and security in construction.